my view this Sunday morning. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty rough journey coming through here. Seems like every time I come through, I just try to pick the path of least resistance. And the moss, the deer and the elk leave a circular impression. And uh, it's really hard to track Grant because Grant is counter tracking. Every once in a while I can see a fresh broken twig, but with the, uh, the really soft soil, it bounces back pretty quick. So you can see lines like this here. There's a line there. It's present. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but it's pretty present. It uh, walks around this way. You have places like this. I just sank in up to my knee just a second ago. We've got hunters out here. I've already made contact with one on the way up. Well, I don't know where I'm at. I've got a general idea of where I need to go. You can hear the birds. Sounds like they're sounding the alarm. So, I'll bring you guys back. I know I'm on the right plane. There we go, look at that. Some steps. I don't know if this is picking up on camera or not. Some of the stuff I can see with my naked eye it might be kind of hard to translate through the camera. Now I need to go down the hill. It's like a dang Cheech and Chong movie. I don't know if you can hear it, but no creek up there. Suddenly, it appears right here. You can hear it traveling to the ground. And then, it disappears right there. Jesus, man, look at that thing. Getting smoked out way over here. Looks like the dang shelter's on fire. as an accident. Look at that guy. Baton him with his dang knife. Burning wet wood. That's not how you're supposed to do it, Grant. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a Cheech and Chong movie, you guys over here smoking out the dang shelter. Yeah. Trying to get all the bugs out or what? Did you bring, did you bring the donuts? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 
that's only probably the thing it's here, but you've got to figure out the base thing on here. Well, we figured out the base thing, but it's not, it's a, it's a rebuild on the roof. Good to see you, man. How was, how was your drive here? Long. It was a long drive. How was the walk? I hate you, Grant. I don't even want to talk to you about the dang walk. Let's go to the mountains. Come on in on this side. It's less smoky. Nothing like a fresh show of the mountains, man. Yeah. Let's go climb some mountains. Let's go hang out outside. You'll be exhausted by the time you get there, but it's going to be so much fun. Starting to draft a little better now. Yeah, it's drafting much better. Yeah, so you just want to get once you've got a flame going, once once you've got heat, then it pushes it. So when it's trying to cough up to the rich. Well, a lot of moisture in those layers of uh, oh, dude, yeah, I mean, tarps too. These, these logs are the, they're like sponges, man. They just suck that moisture. In. Dry wood is a misnomer. What's dry wood? Mm. Eighty-year-old man's dick. Stuff you buy at uh, <laughs> yeah, at right. Safeway and bring the that longer that that is open. You know, this this doesn't need to be closed off. Oh. If I had a longer awning, then the, then the wood maybe would be yeah. Well, yeah, maybe what would happen if you just came off of here longer, out to more like here, mm. and moved all of that back and moved the you'd be moving your well. You could the thing is, the what, oh, that was the plan, but uh, that, that hole right there. That's your <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm sleeping. Yeah. If you bend your knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you couldn't get too close to the upright with your pitch, though. What I want to do is probably, uh, I think, hopefully this is the plan. Did I, you, when you've been working with, you get to play with Yeah. I, I need to play with Yeah. But I think what I want to do is... What's on the menu? I got cheddar broccoli, rice with uh, cheesy sauce, and I'm going to add a can of roast beef to it. There's my measurement for my water. It's basically, it's the two cups. I have coffee and creamer back here, which I missed out on this morning. And I got a new bag for my, my zebra pot, the 12 cm, and I got this from Firebox. So basically it's just the, uh, your pot, but the bag has another bag that sits on top, so it turns the top of your uh, pot into a storage area. So I put spices and oil and stuff like that in here. I've got a chain to hang my pot, so I'll go ahead and use this chain. But it's pretty cool. You can fit a transgia and some alcohol in here if you want, if you're going to use a stove. So, add my two cups. For the rice. And then I'm gonna boil some water for my coffee. I my body set this up and bring you back. That's it. I ate lunch. I drank coffee. Sorry I didn't bring you back. I, uh, I just got kind of caught up in talking and hanging out, fellowship around the fire kind of stuff. So... I'll throw on some pictures. I got some pictures. And the sun came out for a minute.
turned out to be a beautiful day. A little bit of rain, not much. You get down low enough and this uh, this breeze pushes the, the smoke through, so it does good. If you're laying down over there, you don't get all the smoke in your face, or even sitting down like they are. You don't get all the smoke in your face. It does actually pretty dang good. That, that shelter is just, it's, it's structurally sound. I mean, did all the chinking, the braces, everything is just, it's solid. I pushed on that center pole there to help get myself up off the ground and it, it didn't budge. So it did really good. Good job, Grant. Thank you very much, sir. But that's about it. I'm just packing up. So I might, uh, I might bring you back later. Yeah, uh, he wants to build up the fire and and have us crawl in there and see what the uh, temperature on the thermometer says. Because right now it's about what 50, 60. It is 12 degrees Celsius and about. 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Got a reflector in there. Yeah, so what we'll do, Nathan, is we'll get in, we'll drop the screen, and then we want to see what the temperature picks up to in about, like, say, 15 minutes or so. Yeah. See what the, what the human body temperature does to the inside. So we'll have to check that out. Grant said that he got another knock knock over here somewhere in the woods a while back. So that's always fun. Got to figure out what that is. This is it. Super shelter. Got the mylar on the ceiling. With the fire out in front. With the uh, plastic rolled down. Thermometer. What time are starting? Now? Yeah. Okay. You got a time there, Mark? Uh, I don't have my watch. I guess it's nap time because we're going to see if this temperature will climb in here. I make it about 22.1. This thing is sturdy though. Super nice. Okay, so we got to start temp, eh? Oh yeah, I pulled on this. It doesn't even hardly wiggle. Yeah. Do you need a light on there, Mark? Can you see the temp? About 18 Celsius. Oh, that's, that's, that's good, man. What was it, 64? Approximately 64 Fahrenheit and 18 Celsius. So we've gone up four degrees and just a little bit. Yeah. 20, 25 minutes. And that's with a that's with a really really fire. And it's raining on us. Yeah. The fire is pretty low. Yeah. In fact, I can't even see it glowing anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's probably body heat. So what is the combination? It's is? getting hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's it. We're walking out. Everything's packed up. <clears throat> Had a great time. Hope you all are able to get out. Enjoy the outdoors, everybody. Well, here's a good example of why you should always carry a first aid kit with you. This I got on top of my head. I was walking out of Grant's shelter and the smoke had caught me and uh, I was kind of trying to get out of there in, in a hurry and stood up a little too soon and I hit one of his beams that still had a little bit of a, a branch on it and it just scraped my head it wasn't a gash or anything like that it actually but it took some hair and some skin though so it's a good thing I had these. This is uh, a part of my first aid kit that I always do carry. And these are the sterile gauze pads. Um, I do have super glue and things like that, but I always have something like this to dress up a wound really quick. And you know, it wasn't that much of a bleeder really. It went through a little bit, but not much. So. This was underneath my hat, so it was, it was easy to address. Um, I just put it over the spot and put my hat on, and I was good to go. That's it for me. 
I hope you all are able to get out and enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching.